And we are back for another day in the adventure of the house build. We have a lot of good progress. So drywall is done. Wasn't much drywall actually. Um, that was probably the most drywall. So yeah, now I'm gonna do some mudding and um, hardwood floors coming in today. But I gotta clean up this big mess. All this carpet needs to get up. I have to remove all of this trim has to go. And then I have to take up the tack board. I am going to clean all this up. I'm gonna show you how to properly remove carpet and properly remove trim because I am gonna be reusing this trim. And then I am gonna to have to lug 350 square feet, which is 17 boxes of hardwood up on my deck over there from my truck over there. So yeah, let's get to it. Bam, everything is clean and ready for step number three. So what we're gonna do now is remove all this carpet and get rid of this trim. What we're going to need is a pen, a crowbar, and a hammer. I'm going to be reusing this trim. And the reason I'm using a pen is I'm going to mark each board. So this is panel one, that'll be panel two, three, and so on and so forth. Because I have a little bit of OCD and I want every panel to fit perfectly because we're gonna slide the hardwood under, then reinstall the trim so it keeps its original height. Because if you kept the trim on there, then you're only gonna have like that much base. It would look weird. You want your trim to sit on top of your hardwood and you always wanna leave about a quarter inch because hardwood, you have expansion and contraction due to temperature changes. What happens is it shifts. So if you butt your hardwood against that wall and all the way to that wall and you make it tight, it could bow up. So you want room for everything to shift just a little bit. So that trim hides all that because I'm not gonna be using corner round. This little piece right there, that's quarter round. So let's set this bad boy up and get to work. <laughs> install the hardwood back up, uh, get rid of all the nails that are in the wall and that's left over in the trim because uh, you're going to have a hard time trying to reinstall it if you don't do that. So the key to doing this successfully is we start on one end and slowly use the bar to pry, 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 pry. And that will really help you um, kind of get everything out and put together really nice when you want to put it back together, I should say. Um, and you're not breaking this trim, especially if you're trying to reuse it. So I am not going to bore you with the rest of this. I have to go down this hallway, take the rest of the trim out, but you guys get the point. So once that's done, I'm gonna start ripping up the carpet, show you a couple tricks with that, and then we can finally install this hardwood, which I'll show you too, once I bring it all up to the front porch. But we'll be back. Okay, I lied. I'm not gonna show you ripping carpet because I don't have to bleep too much. It's really easy, guys. Literally just cut where you want a manageable piece of carpet to roll up. This is your matting for carpet. And these are all your tack strips that you have to, ow, damn it. 
they have to carefully cut out. And there's all nails in these things. I will be back when this is all done. And all the carpet is finally out. All the under matting is completely gone. Everything is gone. Base is done, everything done. I'm over it. No, I'm not over it. The fun just begun. But my floor guy came in this morning, or this afternoon, and we have our first row of our new hardwood floor. I got to bring up all the hardwood floor. So that's all of it right there. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is real hardwood. That's key, not laminate. None of that bullshit. All right, so for tonight's project, it is time to get muddy. You know, spackle, drywall. Let's do it. We gotta fill all that in, put some corner bead right there. We gotta fill in that gap that looks terrible, of course, with some mud. A skim coat. This is good for all you guys out there that have messed up walls. A skim coat is when you're taking down chair rail or just overall trying to fix um, a wall that's been dinged up a lot. So what you do, this is a great surface, this was chair rail. So you can tell it doesn't feel very nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a thin coat of mud and we're gonna rub it across. I'm going to use a six inch, six inch or nine inch mud knife. And then we're gonna do that two coats, but the second coat, I'm gonna use a 12 inch. Or no, I'm gonna use a six and nine and a 12. Yeah, six, nine, 12. So three coats. And that'll make the wall really smooth. And then up here, of course, I gotta muddle that. So there's a lot of mudding and all that good stuff. And of course, you guys probably know that, but that's mud right there. So let's get into it and see what we get. See what it looks like before the mud, a lot of openings, cracks, all that. What I'm gonna do is I am going to mud all this up because I don't feel like moving the camera 15 times. I mean, listen, it's a guy with the spackle knife and some mud. I'll be right back. When it's done, perfect, promise. And it is complete. Whoo, that was a lot of mud. So that is what it looks like after the fact. There you have it. Quarter to be done, lots of mud, lots of tape. I think uh, that is it for the night. It is time to crack open a much, much deserved adult cocktail. And the fun is ringing on that bombshell. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we are back for another day. Um, that must have been one hell of a beer I just had because magically, all the floors got done by the time I finished that beer. So let me take you for a little tour. Welcome to the brand new hardwood floors that go all the way into the hallway. I haven't done the bedrooms yet because I am going to change all this up at some point. But honestly, guys, you did not miss anything. It was a lot of work. I might have had more than one beer, possibly two, possibly a case. It is time. We're going to get the painting. I mean, this is really boring. Remember, this is the part of the project that, you know, it's not that fun, it's not that exciting, it's just painting. Never used one of these before. This is called the shield. So this is for the ceiling. Um, and then also like for trim. So what you do is you put that there and you take your brush, your cutting brush, and you can cut all that in. So hopefully that might work really well. We shall see. But when I come back, all the painting is gonna be done. Then I'm gonna do one more tour of the house, get this stuff in here, and then start the fun project. So, see you in a bit. And we are back. Uh, it's been a little bit more than a minute. All the painting is done, as promised, except, full disclosure, I didn't paint. I was going to, I tried really hard, and then I just, it was just way too time consuming, and I didn't get out of work till like nine o'clock every night. Any other long story short, I just didn't have time to paint, but it's done, so let's check it out. This is a gray, this is called Slate Gray, which is super cool. Really like this color a lot. 
Then we did a traditional white in the hallway, and then dining room is another white. So what is left? I got all my trim, I'm gonna convert. This is one by four, we're gonna put that up. Then I have to change all my uh, electrical outlets to white, my light switches to white. With that being said, this is a great time to end this video right here. The next one is going to be this bar top right here. So that is where we're gonna pick back up. But as always, make sure you give me the thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll be doing a lot more of this. All right, see you next time.